Hi guys, welcome to Irish for the vlogs. So this is the League of Ireland news roundup. We'll get straight into this video. Now, Galway United have been very busy the last week or so. They obviously signed Dave Hurley from Cove Ramblers, who's a fantastic signing. Their latest addition is Mikey Rowe, who's come in from USL side Tormenta FC in the United States. Now, Mikey spent five and a half years in America in total. He can play up front, he can play in midfield, attacking midfield and on the wing. He has played in those positions um, he'll add another dimension, I think, to Galway United's attack and his versatility is obviously something that attracted John Caulfield to him. He was in Ireland, obviously, before, as he's an Irish man. He's Wexford native, but he spent a couple of years at the RSC and played for Waterford FC before he moved on to the United States. Now, Galway manager John Caulfield had a lot to say about this sign-in. He says that Mikey gives us so many attacking options He's a player I can see playing as an attacking midfielder, a winger, and a striker. He has that quality. He has electric pace, and he'll give our attack a real dynamism. I can remember when he came through at Waterford, there was a real excitement about him. He went to the United States for five years and played professionally. And now he's coming back to us at the perfect age, hungry to make his mark and continue his development. By the way, he's 24 years of age. Mike is another player that absolutely fits what I look for at the club. He's growing into his potential and I'm very excited. So, you know, John Caulfield obviously has words to say in him. It sounds like an interesting signing and great business by Galway United. Now today, Galway United also confirmed the re-sign of Shane Doherty. who signed a new contract. The 24-year-old attacker made a big impression at the club after rejoining the tribesmen midway through the 2020 season. The New Jersey native was one of the first names in John Caulfield's team sheet this season, and he really helped in a promotion push. So another player that is an excellent signing for Galway United as they continue to move forward. Now, Shelburne FC have completed the shock signing of goalkeeper Brendan Clark from St. Patrick's Athletic. The former Richmond Park shot stopper joins the talk of Park outfit, having won a Premier Division title and two FAI Cups. Brendan Clark was also voted the Club Player of the Year at St. Patrick's Athletic for 2020. So this is seen as a, a major coup for Shelburne Football Club as they begin life in the First Division. Speaking to the 1895 podcast, Clark said manager Ian Morris is straight on to me with a clear plan of winning the First Division next year. His pursuit of me really showed that he wanted me to come to the club. And he spoke about respect he had for me as a player. So that's an interesting signing for Shelburne. And it's going to be very interesting to see how St. Patrick's leg actually replace him as well, I think. So things looking up for Shelburne. Aside from that, they've also re-signed Jack Brady, Jack O'Hanlon, Shane Farrell, Dale Rooney, Alex Seatner, Sean Quinn, Brian McManus, Luke Byrne, Ryan Brennan. So, you know, after getting relegated to the first division, things aren't looking too bad for Shelburne, I don't think. The 21-year-old winger Stephen Mallon has said his goodbyes to Derry City as his loan deal has expired. He'll be going back to Sheffield United. He did have to say this about the club, though. He wanted to wish everyone well at Derry City all the best. My loan period expired. Unfortunately, I never got to show you all my best. Massive thanks to Decky, Paddy, the staff, my teammates and the fans for the opportunity to support. I'm grateful for the experience. Now, I think he's referring there when he says uh, I never got the chance to show... You all my best. He had a lot of little, little little injuries during the season. We saw at the start of the season the ability he could bring. Uh, very good mazy dribbler. Could set up chances, could score goals. But um, he was in and out of the team. A lot of the time he was injured. Um, I'm sad to see him go, personally. I think he's a very good young player and I wish him all the best. Drata the United are delighted to announce that James Brown has signed a contract with the club. The 22-year-old fullback was a major component in Drata's promotion push last season. Brown is the 13th player who was re-signed from the squad last year, so that shows major ambition from the boy insiders. He had this to say on the Draw of the United website. I never thought twice about signing back. There's no reason I wasn't going to come back. Love everything about the club, from Tim, Kev, and the lads on the team, to all the background staff. It's an amazing club with big potential. The goal is get to the Premier, and we achieved that. The hard work starts all over again, and we're looking forward to the challenge ahead. Firstly, we have to set team goals. We definitely want to stay up. That would be number one priority. Anything after that is a bonus. He also goes on to say how he would like to improve his goal tally and his 
tally of assists as well. So that shows the hunger and desire James has to actually improve again as a player. And finally, goalkeeper Connor Kearns has left St. Patrick's Athletic, the 22-year-old who signed from UCD at the start of the season. Had promise, but unfortunately for him, he made no appearances for St. Patrick's Athletic all season. St. Patrick's Athletic have now lost two goalkeepers today, Brennan Clark and Connor Kearns. So it'll be interesting to see what they do in the market in that regard. So that's about it, guys. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and uh, let me know if you enjoyed the video. Thanks again. See you now. Goodbye.